Okay, a very good morning class 12. Coming up with the next project of chemistry, which you can do it from home. Now, the project that I have chosen this time is to study the casein content in different samples of milk. Now, this was in demand. There were students who had asked me to give me the details of this particular project. So I have taken this up for the benefit of those students. Fine. So the first thing that you require in this case is you require milk samples. Milk samples can be from any of your mother dairy products or your Saras milk product, whatever is your area accordingly. It could be at least four to five samples. Full cream milk, toned milk, double toned milk, cow's milk, light milk, fresh milk from buffaloes. That's up to you. You can take any type of samples available in your area and you require around 200 ml of the milk that you need for the experiment. Moving to the next thing. The next thing you require is vinegar. Any particular brand of vinegar to, can be taken. It could be from Tops. It could be Chings. It could be Kisan. Any particular brand can be taken and you require 10 ml of it. Now, how do you take that 10 ml? Or you use dropper. From a dropper, you can use two droppers full can be one way of doing it or else if you have a cup syrup medicine along with the cup syrup medicine you get a cup in that cup there are markings 2.5 ml 5 ml something like that use that cup and you can use it twice for 10 ml of vinegar that you require a gas burner that's in your kitchen a C I am talking about the tea strainer chai chhanne wala chai chhanne wali chhanni is what you require Hair dryer, you may require to dry it up if you are in an area where there is lesser of temperature. Where there is cold, for them, you may require hair dryer. You require a weighing scale. Of course, kitchen weighing scale will also do to weigh the amount of casein that you have formed. Please do not forget to take pictures of each step and attach these pictures in your project. Moving on to the process, the procedure that is. Coming to the procedure of the project, you will be taking 200 ml of the milk sample and warm it on the gas burner. Then you can add two teaspoons of vinegar or 10 ml of vinegar or two droppers, whatever you take. It has to be same for all milk samples. And continue to boil it. It will curdle. It is casein that I am saying is nothing but paneer, which your mom makes it at home okay now boil for two to three minutes and filter through the sea the chani that you have usse filter karlo and you will get your casein back now this casein that you are going to use is then to be washed with water so add more water over it taki wo puri ki puri saaf ho there's no acid clinging onto it and then you need to leave it for drying please don't leave it for more than two days if you are in summers, in two days this will get spoiled. So see to it that you dry it as early as possible. Please use a hair dryer, press it into filter papers, press it into a cloth, do something and try to dry it as much as possible. Okay. Now you need to weigh this dried casein that you have obtained. Uska weigh kar lo. After this, you need to calculate the mass percentage. Ke liye kya karna hai? Let us say your weighed amount was 4 grams, supposing. So what you would do is you will take 4 grams divided by 200 ml of milk that you took, multiplied by 100, whatever you get is your result in percentage. So the formula is 100 multiplied by the mass of the dried casein divided by 200 is the milk sample that you took into uh, 200 uh, will give you the result for the percentages. Okay. So now is the important point. Please repeat these steps one to six for all the milk samples and then you need to compare the mass percentage. Also, please pack these dried samples of casein in sealable polythens and please attach it into your project file. The milk with the highest percentage of casein is the one which has got the maximum protein content. Now, this project can be used in your biology as well as chemistry. Now, when you use in chemistry, you will talk about protein, amino acid, polynucleotides, 
from the chapter of biomolecules in your theory content. Now, when you talk about biology, you can even talk about the diseases caused due to uh, protein deficiencies. Right? So, slight difference in the theory part can be done to incorporate biology project as the casein content in milk. For chemistry, you can use the details about protein primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure of proteins, denaturation of proteins, and so on. Fine. Finally, after your result presentation, after you've given, please try to make it into an observation table also, where you will mention the percentages. Finally, please draw a bar graph or a line graph of your data. For example, you have casein content on the y-axis. On the x-axis, you have your milk samples, cow's milk, full cream milk, toned milk, double milk, soy milk, and so on. And then supposing your cow's milk has 4% and your full cream milk has 8%, something like that, mark it up and then you can draw a line. This is how is your project going to be presented. It can easily be done at home, fine. So, all the best, do well, stay safe, stay happy. This is Seema Makijani presenting to you a project which can be used both in biology and chemistry and can be done at home owing to the present COVID situations. Fine, all the best, do well. Please keep watching the channel for more project ideas. Bye, bless you loads, stay happy, stay blessed.